What's the three things you'd like people to know about you? Oh, um, oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm sensitive. I'm from New Zealand and yeah. I am dyslexic. <laughs> right, so I actually, I was reading so much about you, watching so many interviews about you and you mentioned uh -huh. dyslexic. Um, yeah. Is that something that you're okay talking about or? Yeah, totally. Um, so just this question has been in my mind for the longest time. You're a singer, songwriter, artist, um, yeah. super creative person. Does being dyslexic ever challenge you when it comes to songwriting, when it comes to your creative process in any way? It's kind of like weirdly for me done like the opposite. Like it's been, songwriting has been like this kind of place where it, I'm like thriving, um, having dyslexia, I think. Um, yeah. I think definitely like in school, you know, when I had to write essays and stuff, it was a lot harder and reading was a lot harder. But um, yeah. but nah, songwriting has been this place where I've actually learned that it's kind of like almost a strength now having the dy dyslexia because it makes me more creative, I think. That's cool to know someone as successful <laughs> as you having um, to go through something like that just turn it into a strength to help you through life. Yeah. That's yeah. super inspiring and I really look up to you about that. Like it's super cool. Thank you. Um so you've always had this obsession on snails. Of, with mm -hmm. snails. Um in fact you attempted to get in the book of records by covering your face with snails before. What's uh -huh. your what's your song Snail about? <laughs> um, I wrote the song coming out of my first lockdown in New Zealand mm -hmm. and I was living with my parents at the time and I kind of just like came out and I was like fascinated with snails like during lockdown and I kind of like was watching them because there were so many in my parents garden and wondering like imagine if a snail was wondering why I haven't left the house in like two months so I wrote like <laughs> this kind of like a story about like a snail and a human um, during a global pandemic. It's pretty cool. I saw the music video you. and honestly, your obsession <laughs> with snails helped me get over my fear of snails. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. yeah, so what does your um, music video, the snail music video mean? Like, what does it, does it have any hidden meanings or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's kind of just like this trippy, like journey is, um, right. of my mind and like me kind of you know it's this kind of crazy fantasy world that I came up with um, with this woman called Anita yeah. and yeah I mean I just I wanted it to be like Benny world you know like there are giant snails in this world and I'm an elf in this world and it's kind of just crazy and it's this big old fantasy um but yeah I feel like it was so so fun to make the video um, it was really fun. Trippy as ever. Yeah, very trippy, but yeah. definitely just like an opening to, to my mind, I think. Is the yeah. Behind it. So, yeah. um, so, okay, I have, I can relate to this next one, but your initial plan was to go to university. How mm -hmm. did, and how did you end up pursuing music instead? Um, I had released SoundCloud covers. Right. And they got me into contact with my producer and my manager now who I still work with and yeah I kind of was making music on the side after doing that because I got into the studio and I ended up just dropping out of university and doing music like full-time see me like also making pizzas and washing dishes <laughs> <laughs> but making music my focus that's cool um it's, it's great to know that you found a passion and you're pursuing it at such a young age. I wish I was yeah. as motivated as you uh, <laughs> at your age. Um, so on your debut album, you work with like amazing names. How's it like working with Lily Allen and Flo Millie? <laughs> um, pretty crazy, like because I'm such a huge fan of, of both of them and everyone on the album. Um, I didn't actually get to work in the studio with any of them because right. all of the um, features were put on the songs when we were in lockdown. Yeah, it yeah, sucks. But but it's been it's been really really cool, and I got to call a couple of them and stuff. And um, yeah, I mean it's just been a really really fun time for me, and I'm just yeah. so stoked they're all on the album. Would you say that Lily Allen is someone that you grew up? Uh, I read about this, but is is Lily Allen someone that you grew up listening to and 
and yeah, uh, totally. yeah awesome Must totally Dream come true, working with someone you yeah. been listening to. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I actually was getting ready to all your songs. I was on YouTube getting ready to all your songs, and I feel like oh. they all sound super eclectic, super just fresh. And yeah. uh, you did mention you would describe your um, your song, your sound as a fresh, crisp apple, and I totally agree yeah. with you. Because <laughs> um, I couldn't put a genre on you. It's just like, yeah. oh, that's Benny. Oh, that's Benny. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, speaking of your songs, loads of your songs are birthed um, around your anxiety, depression. How do you mm-hmm. feel about people who actually struggle with mental health using your music to help them overcome um, their their situations in life, um, to help them go through their mental health and to uplift them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's like the coolest feeling in the world, um, yeah. knowing that your music is helping someone in that way because. I find so much comfort in listening to other people's music when I'm low or, you know, anxious. Um, so it just feels really, really special that I can be that um, source of comfort for someone else, you know? For sure, yeah. So now that we're being, we're going through this entire pandemic, we're going through lockdown, I want to ask you, how has the rise to fame been for you during a pandemic? Yeah, um, pretty random. Like, it's been pretty weird, um, like, having so much good stuff going on for me, but then also, like, the rest of the world is, like, falling apart, and it's kind of, like, yeah, oh my God, going insane. Yeah. But, but, yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a pretty good year for me, so I'm just kind of grateful that I'm, I can still work and, and, and make music with people. Oh, yeah. Definitely been a great year for you. Um, So, what is the one song from your album, your debut album, that you'd like someone who doesn't know who Benny is to listen to? Maybe like, maybe Happen To Me. Oh, okay, that's yeah. cool. I feel like that's my favorite in the album. What would you like to say thank to you. all your Malaysian fans? Um, Thank you guys so much for listening to my music. Um, I can't wait till I can come over and play live shows to you guys. Um, I've never been to Malaysia, so you're gonna love so, it. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I yeah. totally am. Yeah, we love you out here for real. Like we adore yeah. you out here. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank Penny. you so thank much. You so much for your time. Of course. You take okay. care. All right. You too. Bye. 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 Bye